Welcome back, I am John P. Today we are gonna be talking about what I believe to be the best value today in complicated watches. This is gonna be a watch that I saw online um, and I was just browsing, looking at different watches like I do. You know, we trade a lot of watches at delraywatch.com, so I always like to see what comes up on the market. And I saw this price and I really had to double take on this watch, scratch my head and wonder why it's just not more popular of a watch. Now this is a watch that we've had at delraywatch.com um, I think one time in the past, then I also scratched my head back then and I never really got around to making a video about it. But now these watches are trading at a fraction of the retail price, uh, still unworn on the internet from different gray market sellers. And I think it's a no brainer for those that want something complicated and truly a very interesting uh, watch in terms of horology and technical functionality, right? We're talking a perpetual calendar. We're going to get into that in just a second. Um, I'll share with you on my wrist today. I, I once again have an Enicar Sherpa Super Dive. I love this watch. Very cool watch um, on this canvas strap. And guys, you can find me on Instagram, the real John P, where you can see different watches we have at Delray Watch, um, Sinclair straps, different watch straps, things, and also kind of just what goes on in my life day to day, Instagram, the real John P. So what is the watch in question here? The watch that I think is probably, if not likely, one of the best values in complicated watches today is going to be the Frederick Constant Slimline Perpetual Calendar with the manufacturer movement. Now, what's unbelievable about this watch is we have a perpetual calendar. Now, for those of you that are maybe a little bit newer to watch, is a perpetual calendar is going to be a complication that is showing you the date, but it auto corrects um, and adjusts automatically for the months that have less than 31 days, as well as the leap year. So this is a very complicated mechanism to produce. Today, it's a little bit easier um, with different manufacturing and machining processes. Um, you do see perpetual calendars from a lot of manufacturers at this point, but from a little bit more of a younger brand, I think it's impressive, especially a manufacturer brand movement that they you know, produce so it's not like they're just pulling a perpetual calendar movement off the shelves, this complicated movement, popping it in a case and calling it a day. I mean, they're actually this brand, Frederic Constant, um, which has been a little bit more um, considered as a more uh, approachable brand. They really want to leave a mark in horology in this kind of value segment. Now, the retail price is about 9,500 US dollars. It depends depending on the strap you get it in your region, um, things like that. But I saw this watch for about 4,000 or 4,200, depending on the source, online, un unworn box and papers on the internet. So I really need to stress that this is a complicated watch that is truly a piece of horology and you can get this for 4,000 US dollars unworn. So in terms of watches, not as affordable as some could be, right? But in terms of complicated horology with a complicated movement and having this very special mechanism, that's an amazing deal because if you look at other manufacturers out there, other manufacturers are selling perpetual calendars for sometimes $30,000 plus. I mean, you start getting into the independence and you know Patek Philippe, I mean, sky is really the limit, but perpetual calendars, go to Chrono24, go to eBay, even look pre-owned, go to Delray Watch, anywhere else you buy and sell your watches, you'll see perpetual calendars don't really come up too often at these, you know, dare I say, almost affordable price points, depending on how you look at it. So I really believe this is an unbelievable value. And when I held this watch at Delray Watch, I, it felt great, right? The, the case was a little bit better than I would anticipate at the $4,000 price point. Um, but once again, the retail price is over 9,000. So that does make a lot of sense. And it really does look like a watch that would be selling more than what it does. Now, Frederic Constant is a younger brand, so they are still building their name for themselves. You know, that you can't really compare them to like a Vacheron or Patek, Patek Philippe. But in terms of pricing, once again, I, I can't stress enough that this is such a great value. And many of you out there are probably shaking your heads, if not scratching your heads, by how, how good of a value this is. Now, Full disclosure, we do not have this watch at Delray Watch. We had this quite a long time ago, so this is in no way uh, plugging the watch, but I just think it's a great value for those looking for an awesome 
um, complicated, nice, piece of horology. Now, the interesting thing is this watch has the FC775 manufacturer automatic caliber movement, which I believe is decorated more than many watches at this price point. Now, this isn't going to be an FP Journe, but it's about as good as it gets, if not almost a little bit better than it should be at this price point. So I really do think that in terms of the, the design, and the polishing and the way that they handle the decorations on the movement is really amazing, right? I, for $4,000, I don't know what else you can get that really handles it to this level. I mean, unworn as well. Now, it does feature the, per, the perlage on the movement as well as a circular Cote de Genève decoration. So that's going to be really classical on these higher end watches, but at a much more approachable uh, price point. And it does feature a 38 hour power reserve, which I would say is probably the only thing that it does lack a little bit because in terms of perpetual calendars, they're not that easy to set. And so I always like to see a little bit of a longer power reserve. So this might be a watch that you might have to put on a winder or you might have to, you know, wind it every so often. The 38 hour power reserve is on the lower side, but for everyday watch or watch you put on a winder, or maybe you just set it a little bit. If you skip every couple of days, the setting shouldn't be too bad. So I think in terms of what you get at the price point you get, watch collectors, this is probably the best value out there today. I don't know how long these will be out there. I don't know if they'll be discontinued or if people are buying them or not. Um, if they're selling at such a steep discount, chances are they're probably not selling directly from Frederic Constant. So I think it's a, it's a great chance to get into a piece. Uh, once again, a mechanism that should not be, in my opinion, this uh, lowly priced for truly how impressive it actually is. But what do you guys think about this watch? Um, do any of you have this, by the way? I would love to have uh, your impressions in the comments below. And also just the brand, Frederic Constant. I'll admit, I've spent some time with the brand uh, but we don't get them in too often at Delray Watch. It seems like the people that do buy these watches tend to hold on to them. They really like and enjoy them. So I would love to see and hear your comments about them as well um, down below. And guys, please do not forget to check out Delray Watch and my Instagram, The Real John P. Thanks. You've been chatting with John P.